dear travel lovers, hi. So we're saying hello to you from Taiping, which is in a state of Perak. The Taiping is famous for having Malaysia's first. There was the first magistrate court, first prison, first police force and police station, first railway, and many other things guys. Taiping is definitely the city of birth. So Taiping was also known as a mining city but after 1970s a lot of people decided to migrate from Taiping and go to bigger cities to look for better job opportunities. There are many buildings that are abandoned or being renovated. I think from wooden houses into brick houses mm -hmm. and it just creates this very like sleek like um, city atmosphere. Yeah. So we're currently staying in a hotel called Peking Hotel Hotel and it's basically under construction. Um, I'll give it about two years and that building is going to be incredible. Yeah. Uh, the only reason we're staying there is because it's cheap and also because the Wi-Fi is banging. It's amazing. Yeah. So uh, we can put up with all of the banging from the hammers <laughs> and everything like that. We've actually been here for five days. Today is our main day to go and film for you guys show you what's to offer in terms of food um, we're going to some lake gardens we're going to try some special chendol hopefully and we're going to be filming today and tomorrow morning so hopefully you guys at home can see what Taiping is all about yeah so let's go and explore Taiping <laughs> today Fine. good what are you mixing here rojak yeah, rojak. rojak wow yeah you want to try no we already tried it we don't like it okay. because it has shrimp paste How yeah it doesn't taste good <laughs> not for us <laughs> but we understand the locals like and it rojak. yeah rojak we know yeah slices. Uh, two slices three two two, two okay. yeah so you here every day? Yeah, yeah. Wow, for how many years? 20 years. 20 years now, wow. I'm 20 years only. Yeah, or 50 years or something. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. But you look very young. You look 40. And Mia, she just arrived to Pasar Lambak, which basically means Lambak Market. And this market offers a variety of all sorts of food. And we've been coming here for quite a few times now and today is the day when we're gonna try something new I think but yeah it's so busy Saturday full of people full of delicious food oh we're so hungry now let's eat means chicken. What did you order me, sir? So I ordered chicken and rice. Uh, and, uh, you have to wait a bit longer because what Justine has ordered is very popular here. Yeah, so I ordered some chicken soup. As I showed to you, it's a long queue. I'm going to have to wait for about 10 minutes, I think. 
Finger is very, very popular. Fingers Christ is going to be really delicious and worth a wait. Well, yeah. let's see. Well, considering mine's right here, right now, I'm going to just try go for it. it. Yeah. So this chicken is really nice. Um, comes with rice and some soy sauce and some chili dip as well. Uh, what I really like about it is don't only get the meat, but you also get the crispy skin on the outside. So you get like two different textures when you bite through it. That's um, really good. And I think the chicken skin is like your favorite, isn't it, when it comes to chicken, yeah. right? Any skin, yeah, any meat is like the best part. Mm -hmm. Most people don't like it because it's kind of the fatty bit, but I love it. It's yeah. what the flavor is. So for drinks, I've ordered Milo Ice or Milo Ice. Uh, there was quite a debate in the comments when I asked how to pronounce it. I think the consensus was Milo. So I've ordered my Milo. And Justina's got a Te of Ice Lemon, which is lemon iced tea. It's either this drink or that drink, all the time. It's so refreshing. That is the only reason why we're getting these drinks, yeah? Yeah. It's so hot. Yeah. And that's exactly what you need on a hot day. Mm. I'll just put it all down my shorts. Oh no. <laughs> Had a Milo accident, guys. Okay, so I finally received my ayam soup. That took about 25 minutes. This better be good. <laughs> Again, it comes with a little bit of a chili sauce, uh, lots of noodles, lots of chicken, some spring onions. Yeah, just a bit of everything, basically. Wow, actually, a lot of noodles. Mmm, the broth is nice. Mm, do you want to taste some, Isha? Sure. Yeah. but we're now filming on two cameras. Justina's got our old G7X Mark II in her hands. She finds it easier to vlog with, which means we get to uh, hear from Justina more often. And every time I try and film on the big camera, her arm is really, really achy, so half the time we don't even bother. Yeah. So I'm gonna be vlogging on this one, because I don't mind this one. You, you have better muscles than me, I think. <laughs> Yeah, that camera is way too big for me and this is so small and cute and tiny and it's just so easy to whip it out and like capture your emotions and stuff whereas that one is, ah. Uh, I think this one is really good for like um, overall shots and close -ups. Yeah. Where you go? Kalapa. What is that then? Don't you know? Kalapa? Kalapa. Coconuts? Yeah. Dear Malaysia, when are you going to end this heat wave? Tell me when. I'm absolutely melting in this weather. Do you know oh. what's the temperature like? Tell me the temperature, Justina. It's 33 degrees Celsius. Oh. <laughs> and look how bright it is. I can't even see you guys right now. I'm literally like this. Oh, where are my sunglasses? Where are your sunglasses? Well, I'm wearing my standard glasses, so I can't wear my sunglasses. Oh, can you not? Oh, you need to wear contact lenses and glasses. Exactly, yeah. Oh, bless you. first we've just arrived to the oldest coffee mill here in Malaysia we're just about to go inside this factory and see how the coffee is being made here around inside. We know that the uh, coffee bean has been mixed with charcoal which gives it this distinct black colour and even the aroma smells yeah. a bit like that charcoal. It's a very deep musky uh, flavour yeah. I would say. So now we can actually try the coffee for ourselves. There's lots of different machines, lots of different kinds of coffee. I think I'm gonna go for the white coffee first. Okay, so now I'm about to try the oldest coffee here in Malaysia. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, pretty strong. Yeah. yeah. I like my coffee with some sugar. This one, of course, is just pure coffee on its own, but it's nice. Sitting down, guys. It's too hot for me. Too hot for a Brit here in Malaysia today. We love to complain about the weather, don't we? Here's a coffee. What do I get, Justina? You got a three-in-one white coffee. Three-in-one? There's about, I'd say, ten different variations of this uh, coffee bean. Oh, that's good. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I would say there's sugar and cream in here. Yeah, it's quite sweet, that one. Hmm. It's an interesting aftertaste. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna give that durian coffee to Justina and see if she notices. I mean, she says she loves durian, but let's really test it. What's try, that? Try this one. Oh. <laughs> is it durian coffee? <laughs> Maybe I can smell durian, is there? I don't know, is it? It smells like durian. <laughs> Yeah, it's durian coffee. <laughs> you won't fool me. <laughs> no, no, you can just nice. smell that it's durian. Do you like that? I like that, yeah. So oh, have a cup of that. It's confirmed you like durian because I thought it was going to get you there and you're going to be like, yeah. ugh. I'm actually alright. I yeah. like that, yeah. Guys, so we just arrived to a pre-war abandoned house. It looks very, very scary. We don't know what to expect. I'm hoping to see some ghosts. <laughs> uh, it's just in the middle of nowhere. Lots of jungles around. It looks very, very old. Let's go and see what's inside. Little uh, terrace here. You can maybe have some like lunch, have these open windows. It would be a beautiful it would be house. Really, really beautiful, yeah. It Do probably you know what was. was it before? Sorry? Do you know what was it before? What kind of like? I don't think so. No, it's been abandoned for a long time, yeah? This is our grab driver, by the way. What is your name? Ari. Let's go inside then, Justina. It seems like this. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, ghosties, where are you? Come out. <laughs> wow. No ghosts. <laughs> Oh, it does smell like weed, doesn't it? Yeah. It's really freaking me out. It's this noise. Listen. It's like a really high-pitched sound from a bird or something. Creepy. Oh, this could be a kitchen. What do you think? Kitchen? <laughs> this could be a kitchen, I think. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, it looks like a kitchen here. Yeah. Wow. It's massive, isn't it? It's massive, yeah. Yeah, this would have been like, I don't know, living area. I just found the stairs as well. Yeah, but you can't climb up there, can you? No. Yeah, because there's definitely another level to this house. Uh -huh. wow. But there's no it's so ceiling. Big. It's so big. Yeah, the, the jungle has literally taken over this house, hasn't it? Yeah, it is. All on the roof. Yeah. Seen as tugging on some vines here. You call it vines? Yeah, vines. Yeah, vines. like uh, Tarzan. Tarzan, yeah. Wee! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, do, do the voice of Tarzan. Oh! <laughs> So we're waiting for some chandel now. We're just in a queue. It's really, really busy. This place is called Ansari Famous Chandel. And yeah, looking at the amount of people that are here, it only means one thing. It's really, really good. Oh, that is 
amazing. It's like sugary coconut with shavings of ice. Oh my god. Mm. How is the meat? Yeah, good. Yeah. I'm doing a grab to go to uh, gardens now. I'm just going to go and chill there and then uh, call it a day, do you think? Yeah, absolutely. It's actually not as hot now, but I think it's going to rain in like an hour. Because uh, I think we mentioned this before, but it's actually monsoon season here. So normally around 3 to 4 p.m. it just rains for like an hour. But it just cooled down, so it is a blessing as well. So uh, hopefully we'll make it to the lake before it rains, that would be nice. and it's a really really nice area for you to chill lots of beautiful lakes lots of greenery you can actually have a picnic here it's quite a big garden I would say and there are so many old trees here some of them are actually closing the road as well and so many people take pictures because the trees are so so low well, let's go under oh. okay <laughs> going under oh. these monkeys are so cute I've never seen this type of species before, guys. What is this? Justina's trying to get their <laughs> attention. <laughs> What's your noises? Is that the noises they make? <laughs> oh my god, such a small face, Misha. Oh my god. This is better than the zoo. <laughs> here for over 100 years now as it's famous for its Rafi Chennai and this amazing gravy and it's actually dal with some mutton gravy inside and it's a trademark here. So I'm gonna dip my roti talor, my egg roti, into the special gravy to see what all of the fuss is about. And the guy said it's dal and mutton gravy, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm, that's great. Yeah? Mm. It is spicy, isn't it? It is a bit spicy, yeah. Do you want to try roti tonight? Yeah. I'll try some roti to that. Oh, my favorite. So the roti's been uh, chopped up. Yeah, uh, torn up. <laughs> was it Vincent that said he doesn't like that? Vincent Chen, if you're watching. Some people don't like their roti chopped up. They like the process of tearing off the roti. Including me. Uh, what What do you guys think? Do you like to tear or do you like it already chopped up? Yeah. I think I like mine chopped up. The base of Maxwell Hill. And uh, this is the route up, but I don't know. I don't know where we're actually going. Uh, did you know that it's no longer called Maxwell Hill? It's called Bukit Larut just to make it more Malay. <laughs> yeah, because Maxwell Hill sounds, sounds like... too English. Yeah, it does, yeah. isn't it? Do you think we'll get the Jeep up then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think that we can climb. It's too far. <laughs> too hot? Too hot, too far. What time did you open this morning? 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock? Yes. 
So it's 8.27. Okay guys, so we have some bad news. Well, some good and some bad. The bad news is that today is a school holiday. It's a public holiday, so it's extremely busy up the Bukit Larut. Therefore, the tickets are already sold out for the morning session. So, the only time that we can go up there is at 12.30 in the afternoon. And it's only half eight in the morning now. So, what we did, we still purchased two tickets, but that means that we have to wait now for three hours to go up the hill. So what we decided is to go back home, get some work done, come back here and just enjoy the hill in the heat. <laughs> the top can't even see the ground level the city nothing we're above the clouds this is our Jeep there's a cafe here a few lodges hi we were here and then we drive all the way up to there it says you are here and that's 1036 meters above the sea level it's hard to describe how it feels to be up here but if i just turn around you'll see the landscape it's kind of like hobbiton in new zealand rolling green hills the sound of birds it's just really really calming up here it's really nice i can't wait to explore a little bit there's a few coffee shops a few little miniature activities to do there's a canopy walk i saw on the way up some feelings yeah i really really like it i can't believe that we're like 1036 meters above the sea level oh. it's pretty high um you can actually see typing just a little bit sadly there is like some smog or clouds that are covering the rest of the city but yeah, I cannot wait to like explore this area. It feels very nice, lots of greenery, lots of cute bushes and flowers, lots of hills. Yeah. Lots of hills. And yeah. how cool is it up here? Yeah. Not like how You're cool me it's it is. It's gonna be really hot. I thought it would be. I put all that sunscreen for what? For nothing? <laughs> Nah, no? doesn't bother me that. <laughs> oh, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, I really like that the weather is so fresh in here. Yeah. Isn't it? It's not too hot, it's just right. Yeah, nice break from the last, I would say, three weeks now. Yeah. Isn't yeah. it? Nice break from the sun. Oh, so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Currently in the jungle guys, it's about 20 degrees Celsius and I can see a creature in front of me, her name is Justina. <laughs> okay guys, so we're gonna end this video here, we've got about an hour left until the Jeep is coming to pick us up and bring us all the way down. Now we will have to pack our bags and go to Kuala Lumpur and that's it, that will be over for Taiping. And what can we say guys, we've really enjoyed Taiping, yeah. it's food, it's history mm -hmm. and most of all it's landscape. Yeah. Uh, we've been here for one week and as digital nomads we uh, highly recommend this place to yeah. work and travel and just enjoy. Yeah, absolutely. We felt so productive whilst in Taiping. We literally got so much work done. Like, yeah. I'm so, so happy. But yeah, guys, we're going to end it here. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, make sure you give it a big like, share this video with your friends. And as always, cheers, cheers to freedom. freedom.